In this lesson, we're going to see how to create a database and a table using Python with SQLite. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is make sure we have a database created. We did that in the first lesson, but let's do it again just to make sure it's there. So to create a database, you type the command for SQLite, which is SQLite3, followed by the name of the database. In this case, we're going to call ours test.db, pretty standard name. And when we do that, it takes us into the SQLite shell, and we can verify that the database is there by typing the command dot databases, which will display all the databases in the system. We just have one, and it's test.db, and it's there, so we're set to go. So type dot exit, then navigate back to Python, tap Python 27. I'm going to make sure I don't have a previous copy of DB create. And then we're going to write a program to create a table, and we're going to call it dbcreate.py. When we're working with Python and SQLite, we have to import the SQLite library, which is called SQLite3. And this time we're going to import it and give it a separate name. We're going to call it DB for database, which is a little bit easier to work with than SQLite3. The first step after importing the library is to create a connection object, the object that we use to connect to the database. So we do that by calling a library and then the connect function, followed by the name of the database and storing it in an object we'll call CONN or CON for connection. Once we've done that, the next step is to create a cursor to use to execute our commands. A cursor is just a structure or or object that allows us to traverse and execute commands in the database. So the connection object has a function called cursor, which sets up a cursor to our database. After we've got our cursor, then we're ready for the next step and the last step for this simple example, and that's to execute an SQL command to create a table. So that SQL command is create table, and then the name of our table, we're gonna call this table films, we're going to keep track of some very basic information about movies. For example, we're going to keep track of the title. So that's our first field, and it's a text field, followed by the year the movie was produced. So that's another text field, and the field's called year. And then finally, the director of the movie, yet another text field. So that concludes our list of fields for the table. So then we type a closing parenthesis, a closing quote mark, and another closing parenthesis to close the execute command, and we're finished. Hit enter and we're done. We might type print, which will only print if the command actually works. So we'll save the file, go back to our command prompt, and type python dbcreate.py, table created. And that's all you have to do. So to review that one more time, import the SQLite 3 library, name it as DB, although you don't have to do that. I just find it easier to work with. Create a connection object by calling db.connect with the name of the database you want to connect to. Next, create a cursor object, which we'll then use to execute our SQL commands. So that's what we did in this line right here. And then the real last functional command is we called the execute function from our cursor object with the SQL statement necessary to create our table. And that's all there is to it. So now we're ready to move to the next lesson where we're going to see how to insert data into this table now that it's created.